This is a chilled and relaxed stack monster here on a Friday night at the Forks Township Community Center just outside of Easton, Pennsylvania on the 12th of July 2013 for the basketball game, the clash, the tilt between the Jaguars and the Patriots. The Patriots come in undefeated and face a Jaguar team on a three-game winning streak. The Jaguars come in at four and three tonight. Stay tuned for action here on the Jaguars Television Network, a subsidiary of Stack Monster Productions. Stay tuned for some basketball action here in Forks River. Coach Mike Coleman Fresh from a jaunt to Italy with his family, back here in coaching ranks on the sideline, goes over final instructions with the team as I'm here with Mrs. Lasorza, Taylor's mom, from Chester, New Jersey. Taylor's mom with a question. What was your question, Taylor's mom? Which one's your daughter? My daughter is number two, Abigail Stackhouse. And Taylor's mother's first name is again Lori Lasorza. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jaguars take the court. And they take the court with Taylor Lasorza, number three. Number two, Abigail Stackhouse. Number 23, Fiona Walsh. Number 15, Kate. She's like Madonna. She just goes by the name Kate. Prince, Madonna, Kate. I love this man. And I think that is Danielle, is it, with the ponytail? The pigtails? All right, don't get technical with me, yes, Mrs. Jackhammer. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. A faux pas right off the bat by the stack monster. You are Good drive, Fiona. Seagulls, but my daughter's a jackhammer. All right, okay. We'll just call her awesome mom. There you go. Meanwhile, back to live action. Stackhouse gets the ball over to Lasorza. She goes inside to number six. Is that Danielle? Danielle with a shot, number six. Patriots have it. The ball is deflected away by Lasorza. Patriots have it back. Number 35 with a nice low post move. However, she's off on the shot and goes out of bounds off of the Jaguars with one minute elapsed in the game. Two 20 minute halves. There's a shot from just inside the free throw line. Offensive rebound by the Patriots. Put back by number three and they take a 2-0 lead. As Kate handles the ball. Gets it over to Lasorza, over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse thinks about a shot, pump fakes. Gets the ball into Kate. Kate over to Walsh, Walsh has it. Stackhouse gets it into Walsh. Walsh gets that ball swatted away and the Patriots have it. With 18.25 on the clock, down low. Danielle got a hand on it. Patriots rip it out, get a shot off, no good. Walsh grabs the board. Walsh is as tough as they come on the court. Nice feed inside to Lasorza. Steps back and banks it off the glass for two points in a tie ball game off the feed from Walsh, who drove and dished like a pro. 2-2 with 18.02 on the clock. Drive to the basket. Floater off the backboard. No good. Miss on the follow. And Walsh grabs the rebound, gets it out to Lasorza over to Danielle. Danielle takes it to the hoop. Number 12 gets a hand on it, deflects it out of bounds. And the Jaguars will reset with the score tied at 2, 17.37 on the clock. Here in Forks Township, Pennsylvania. The stores that bounces it, intended for Stackhouse. Patriots have it. There's a shot off the side of the rim. Out of bounds, and the Jaguars will have it. Scores tied at two. Right now, the Jaguars getting beat a little bit on the offensive glass. They're going to need to mitigate that circumstance as the game goes on. However, let it be known they are facing an undefeated team right now. Danielle gets it back out. Kate goes around, bounces it inside the Walsh. Walsh goes up strong. And she puts it in off the glass, gives the assist to Danielle. Four to two. 
The call is X by the Patriots coach. I feel like ESPN at the X Games. Lasorza with a steal. She runs down the loose ball, gets it out to Kate. Kate inside the Walsh. Walsh turns around. She gets fouled, she'll go to the line for two shots. Looking to extend a 4-2 to two lead for the Jaguars. Come on, Fiona, make it count. Walsh's first free throw attempt is off the front of the rim as Jack Seimer, a.k.a. the Jackhammer, brrr, checks into the game. Number eight, point guard deluxe. And Walsh is nothing but net on the second free throw, and it's a 5-2 lead for the Jaguars. Drive into the lane rebound. by number 17. She can't get it to go. 12 grabs rebound. the rebound, flips it up underhanded with the right hand, and it rattles around and goes down, cutting the deficit to 5-4. Jags still with a one-point lead. 15-20 to go on the clock. Kate takes it right. The defense is there. She bounces it in to Jacksimer. It was deflected out by number 12 from behind with the left hand. Kate takes it in the stack house. Stack house out to Walsh. Walsh looks inside but pulls it back out as the defense got down. Off of the feet of a Jaguar player. Kate gets it inside and headed for stack house. Patriots have it. Ball's loose. It was deflected away. It looks like Danielle. Kate has it. Kate. Can't get the ball in the Walsh. Walsh had a direct line to the basket, but the Patriot player was there. And number 17 with a short jump shot gives the Patriots a 6-5 lead with 14.25 on the clock. Patriots rolling with nine players. The Jaguars rolling with six. So fatigue could be a factor as the game goes on. And Walsh drives hard to the basket, takes the contact, banks it in, giving the Jaguars a 7-6 lead to 14.05 on the clock. And she'll have a chance at the free throw line for the and one. 13.55 as the clock continues to roll here in Forks River. Did I say Forks River? I meant Forks Township. Eight to six. As Walsh, rumor has it, as Stack Monster Productions was not available for the last game, Walsh had a monster game, on, scoring upwards of 20-some points. Job, Stack House grabs the rebound. She flips it over to Jack Simer. Jack Simer back to Kate. Kate in the Walsh. Walsh back to Kate. Kate oh, shot off the front try, of the Kate. rim. Good try. Good try. Patriots good try, have it. Walsh goes for the steal, but she's got good help defense on the backside by Stackhouse and Kate. However, the Patriots are able to knock down a bucket off the glass, tying the score at 8. 13.05 on the clock. All knotted up at 8 in the first half. Jacksheimer with a nice feed inside. Jacksheimer with the assist, and Walsh with the right hand banks it off the glass. 9-11 on a Friday night, and the bank is still open here in Forks Township. Nice defense by the Jags. 17 has it. She has a look. Walsh with a hand in the face. Silky smooth stroke by number 17. Knots the score at 10 with 12 and a half to go in the first. Danielle inside the Walsh. Walsh goes up strong again. A little too strong off the glass. Good hustle on the defensive man. Oh, no love for Walsh. Or was that Walsh? No, that was Jack Simer. No love for Jack Simer as she hustles back on defense, gets all ball, but still gets the call, a foul call. Was it fair? Was it not? We may never know. Free throw temp rattles around, doesn't go down. Score stays at 10-10. 11.48 on the clock. One more to come as Lasorza checks back into the game for the Jags. 
in the 12 sets. She launches. She's short. Get it, Fiona. Offensive rebound, another miss, and the, and the score remains stuck on 10 like Band-Aid stuck on me. 11.26 to go. Sorza has it. And the Walsh. Walsh takes it strong to the hoop. She draws the contact, puts it in again. Good job, Fiona. Keep it going. Fiona Walsh going Joe Walsh and taking it Rocky Mountain Way right to the basket. 12-10 lead, 11 minutes to go. Walsh tries to convert the three-point play. Just a little bit off. 12-10, Jags in the lead. There's a good look. Off the glass, no good. Danielle grabs the rebound, gets to Kate. Kate has it. Out to Lasorza, Lasorza. Takes it right, hands it off, a little bit low. Jump ball, possession arrow favors the Patriots. Two trail by two. Almost halfway through the first half. Late, late, late on a Friday night. The source of digs in on defense, takes away the drive, forces the ball back outside. Seimer comes up, intimidates the opponent, and forces a suitcase. That's the first suitcase of the game. Walsh takes it to the basket again. A little bit short on the layup attempt. But Walsh is a force to be reckoned with for the Jaguars. Floater off the glass and in. Nice shot by the Patriots. Score all tied at 12. Deflection away, but Kate runs it back down. Good handle by Kate. Kate gets pushed from behind. As Coach Coleman goes over some instructions on the bench with Abby Stackhouse. I get back to live action. Kate dishes out to Walsh. Walsh inside to Lasorza. Lasorza, nothing there. So she flips it out to Danielle. And she has a good look. A little short, but the miss is run down by Lasorza. Lasorza back out to Walsh. Walsh to Danielle. Over to Kate. Kate takes it over to the elbow. Kicks it to the right to Jack Simon. Jack Simon back to the left. Jags reset. There's a look for Kate. Kate is just a little bit off to the right rear rim. The Patriots have it with a score knotted at 12 and even dozen apiece. 8.40 on the clock in the first half. They'll try to get number 12 cutting down low. We have a tie up. Good hands, good strong hands by Kate. And Kate gets the Jaguars a possession here with eight and a half to go. Kate does a little hesitation, takes it to the rim. That ball swatted away. By the Patriots who have it. Rebound. Shot was off the mark. Patriots get it back. They get it out to number 17. She takes it right into the lane. Jack Simer got a hand on that shot. Offensive rebound by the Patriots. Ball was deflected away by Danielle on the second shot attempt by the Patriots, and the Jaguars get it back. It's 7.46 to go. The Jaguars have it. They get it inside to Danielle. Danielle will go to the line for two shots as she draws the contact. There's a whistle on the play with 7.33 to go. You see the score, 12-12. We have a timeout here on the Jaguars Television Network. Coach Coleman breaks the huddle off the timeout and sends the Jaguars back out onto the court for competition. Come on, Jag, you got this. It turns out that was not a shooting foul. That was a Jennifer Lopez foul on the floor. Back house. Out to Jacksheimer. Turnaround jumper by Danielle off the rim. Fight for the loose ball. That's a jump ball. Patriots will have it. 7.14 on the clock. Yeah. 
Ball goes off of Stackhouse's left shin. In medical terms, we call it the tibia. 12-12. Patriots have it. The Sores have got a hand on that. Stackhouse hits the deck. There's a shot. And it is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 14-12 lead with six and a half to go. Jack Timer, nice little move and a pass to Stackhouse. Stackhouse in the Walsh. Walsh flips it out to the Sorza. A little too soft. And the Patriots have it. Deflected away by Jack Simer. Walsh came up with it, but the outlet pass was picked off and put back in for a four point lead, 16-12, with 6.07 on the clock. Jack Simer out to Lasorza. Lasorza surveys the territory. Fakes left, goes right, flips it out to Stackhouse. A quick follow, Stackhouse gets it back. She looks for help. She needs to get it out, they call five second violation. Come on, girls, defense. Go behind her next time, T. Let's flip it out, number three. One bounce, one pass inside. Bucket is good. And all of a sudden, the Patriots are on a 6-0 run as they found their stroke from six, seven feet away in the Stackhouse. Stackhouse with a man on her. Gets it back out to Jack Simon. Over to Sorza, back to Danielle. Danielle off the front of the rim, no good. Jags need to give, dig in on defense. Walsh gets back inside to the big girl. She banks it off the front of the rim, no good. Walsh has it. Walsh spins left, back out to Jack Simon. Jack Simon with a look, and she nails it. A long two-pointer but it stems the flow of a 6-0 run and cuts the Jaguar deficit to four. They trail 18-14 with 4.42 on the clock. Steal by Jacksheimer. Jacksheimer with a beautiful outlet. Back to Lasorza, back to Jacksheimer. She shoots. Backhouse tried to squeeze the rebound, deflected out of bounds. Kate back into the game for the Jags. Jags trail by four with 4.20 to go in the first half. Uh, Jags got a hand on that. That was Jack Simer. A long two-pointer on the other end by number 17. Puts the Patriots back up by six. Four minutes to go. In the half, Stackhouse has it. Double team, that means somebody's open on the inside. That someone was Walsh. Jags lose it. There's a foul on the other end. It was a good foul by Kate, as she's gonna force the Patriots to earn it at the free throw line with 3.37 and the clock running. Patriots at the line with a 20 to 14 lead in the first half. First free throw attempt is no good. Jaguars look to keep this game close, keep it close late and anything can happen. Second one is good, 21-14. Patriots up by, a, up by a touchdown here in the first half. Danielle has it. One more pass in the Walsh. Walsh out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse with a look. Off the side of the rim. The far end of the rim by Stackhouse. Stolen away by Walsh. Walsh with the defense hustling back in. They foul and Walsh will go to the line. As she was this close to going to the line for another and one. Just the little, little beat. Walsh looks to cut into a seven point deficit for the Jags. For a shot, no good. Mafioni got this. One more to come. Walsh. Oh. 
a little bit off on that one. And we're under two minutes to go in the first half. Jaguars would like to get a stop on this defensive possession as they already trail by seven. Keep this game within reach here in the first half. It was all nodded at 12 as there's a look from downtown. No good. Deflected out of bounds. Walsh with a valiant attempt to save it. Since that time that it was 12 12, there's a look from the left elbow. No good. Danielle grabs it. Walsh has it. She crosses over. She gets it to Stackhouse running the floor. Ball goes out of bounds and the Patriots will have it back. Patriots on a 9-2 run. The last few minutes of the first half. Stolen by Kate. Kate runs it down. She's going to take it to the basket. She misses on the shot. The ball's on the floor. They call a jump ball. Jags will have it. Jags have had a couple opportunities on the last offensive possessions. They just haven't been able to put the ball in the basket. Stackhouse has it. She pump fakes, kicks it to the left. Kate has it, pivots on her left foot, gets it over to Jackson. Jackson over to Kate. Kate over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse inside to Danielle. Ball's deflected away. Patriots have it with it. Less than a minute to go in the half. Uh, a good read as Walsh anticipates that. She takes it to the basket. Just a little bit off on the shot. Jags are going to have to hustle back as the Patriots were out on a fast break. Good job by the Jaguar defense getting back and preventing an easy layup. 43 seconds remain. Walsh will get a well-deserved rest with 43 seconds left to go as Coach Coleman looks to cycle the girls in and out with only one reserve on the bench. He wants to ensure he has fresh legs late in the game. It's still a seven point game, anybody's game. They call a suitcase on the Jaguars. That'll be the first suitcase of the game for the Jaguars. Both teams tied at one suitcase apiece. Stackhouse drives her. They call on out of bounds as Stackhouse drives her opponent into the baseline and gets a foul call and the Jaguars have possession. They have 18 seconds left. They look to try to cut the lead. They call another suitcase, however, on the Jag. Fourteen seconds to go. Jaguars digging. They don't want to go in a halftime trailing by any more than seven points. They'd love to get a steal and a quick bucket on the other end. There's only eight seconds left to go. They call a suitcase. A suitcase on the Patriots with 6.4 to go. Three seconds to go. Over to Lasorza. Lasorza with... Oh, it rolls in and out at the buzzer as Lasorza almost knocks down a three-pointer. Ladies and gentlemen, at a halftime public service announcement, make sure if you go traveling, even on a basketball court, you bring your Samsonite. We're at halftime here on the Jaguars Television Network, a subsidiary of Stack Monster Productions. Coach Coleman finishes up the halftime instructions with the Jaguars. Let's go, Jaguars. Let's go, Jaguars. They'll begin the second half trailing by seven points, 21 to 14. They are still in this game. They've had plenty of opportunities in the second half to have this game a little bit tighter, but they just can't seem to find the answer during the last five, six minutes of the first half on the offensive Come on. end. Come on, Coach all over them. Let them in. Implemented a strategy at halftime. We'll see how it plays out here in the second half. Jaguars have played solid defense. Good job, girls. Don't let her in. Loader is good. Number 17 gives the Patriots a nice job getting into the front court by Kate. Kate gets called for the suitcase. She had the right idea. 
she tried a little jump, stop, step, whatever, and bounced the ball into a cutting Walsh. Come on, good D, guys, good D. Come on, T. The one extra little stutter there, and the Patriots have the ball with 19 12 to go in the game. Good job, Taylor. Abby, almost okay, Barry. Okay. The defense. There's a hand in the face by Stackhouse. Forces a bad shot. Ball's tipped back in by the Patriots. Patriots have it. Sea of hands by the Jaguars everywhere the Patriots turn. Tipped away by Danielle. Picked off by Stackhouse. Inside the Walsh. Walsh gets fouled. This will go back to the line. The Patriots are very aggressive. If the Jaguars can continue to move the ball like that, they can start to get the Patriots in the foul trouble line. They picked up quite a few fouls in the first half, and the coach for the Patriots doesn't like what he sees and calls a quick timeout, so we take a timeout here on the Jaguars television network with the Jaguars trailing by a score of 23-14 with 18 minutes and 39 seconds to go. This is the Stack Monster reporting. Bags take the court. Prepare for the re-entrance of the Patriots. Walsh will go to the line for two shots. First free throw is going to be a little bit short. Come on, Fiona. Make it count. You got it. Sets. Looks to redeem herself on the second shot. Just a little bit long. We have a jump ball and. The Jags will have it. Good job, they get another opportunity to convert here on the offensive end. They've been stuck on 14. Stackhouse pump fakes, kicks it out to Danielle. They reset at the point with Kate. Kate gets it to the left. That ball was deflected from behind. Run down by Walsh. Back out to Lasorza. Lasorza over to Kate. Kate in the Walsh. Walsh pull back off the back iron. Danielle ties it up. And while that's a possession arrow for the Patriots, what it does is get a possession no down the line for the Jaguars. An excellent job by Danielle. Number 17 is long on that shot. Last touch by the Jaguars. Inside the 35. Get it. Get he it. throws it off the side of the backboard. Second shot is no good. Danielle grabs the rebound. Over to Kate. Kate saw Stackhouse cutting the basket out of the corner of her right eye, but good defense by the Patriots. They run back into the plane, deflected out of bounds. 23-14. Patriots in the lead. Danielle has it. Flips it back out to Lasorza. Lasorza trapped in the corner. Gets it out to Kate. Kate bounces it to Walsh. Walsh, pull up. Off to the left, deflected out of bounds. Ball belongs to the Patriots. 17 minutes to go in the game. Good job, Fiona. Walsh almost comes up with a steal there. There's an open look by number 17 from the right, off the rim, no good. Out of bounds, Jags will have it. Come on, Jaguars, down and score. A couple on, quick buckets it. and the Jags are right back in in this game. They trail by nine. Plenty of clock left. Sora's in the corner, back out to Kate. Kate pulls it out, bounces it to Walsh. Walsh back out to Kate. There's a foul by number 12. She doesn't like it, but she's going to have to live with it. Jack Simon back into the game for the Jags. Walsh over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse back out to Jacksheimer. Jacksheimer a little bit short on the jump shot. She had a good look. She had the look she liked. Next one's going down. Number 17 with the right hand in and out. Number 21 grabs it. She can't miss it. Walsh gets a hand up. Gets called for the contact and the bucket is good. 
25-14, one to come for the Patriots. An unfortunate series of events. Lemony Snickets. Twenty-one. That's what we call a lane violation. Back into the game comes Danielle. 25-14, 11 point deficit. By no means insurmountable. If, if ball's loose, Danielle has it. She throws it up, she gets fouled. So go to the line for two shots. Come on, Danny, make them count. At this point in the game, every free throw is critical for the Jaguars as they trail by 11. Danielle looks to get it back down to single digits with two right here. And it rattles around and goes down. Way to make it count, Danny. 25 to 15. In comes a substitution for the Patriots. Two substitutions for that matter. They have them deserved. And free throw is just a little bit short. Patriots have it with a 10 point lead. Come on, defense, defense. Offensively, the Jaguars have been held to only three points since the score was tied at 12. Two thirds of the way. A steal by Jacksimer. Jacksimer has it. Flips it over to Kate. Kate goes right. Bounces it in the Walsh. Walsh out to Jackson. Jack Simon, one dribble. She has a look. Front rim, no good. Out of bounds. Deflected back in. Jags have it. Kate has it from Jack Simon. Jack Simon cuts to the outside. Walsh drives, pulls up from the paint. Off the back of the rim, no good. 25-15. Jags still trail. 13-12 to go. 17, that's her sweet spot, but not so sweet on that shot. They have a fast break. Walsh to Lasorza. She can't get it to go. Ball goes out of bounds. Patriots will have it. It's okay, it's okay. Good try, good try. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. That's going to be a turnover. Come on, Jags. Here's your chance. Come on. Patriots coach with his hands behind his head says, thank God the Jaguars are missing those shots or we'd be in trouble. But. The Jaguars maintain possession. 12.20 to go. There's a look by Danielle and it's no good. All right. Right now, the difference in the game, there's a foul on the Jags, is the sweet shooting of number 17 for the Patriots, who has about eight points. And with a 10-point lead, one would surmise that that could be a big difference in the game. Whereas the Jaguars can't seem to buy a bucket with a crisp $50 bill. Good job, Steph. Stay with her. Jack Timer almost comes up with a steal. Stackhouse forces a bad shot. Lasorza comes up with the miss. There you go. Gets it to Jack Timer. <clears throat> Jack Timer surveys the court. Gets it in to Danielle, falls loose. Danielle on the floor. They call a foul on the Patriots. That foul was brought to you by Danielle, who got down and dirty on the floor like it's Groundhog Day all over again. Come on, girls, make it count here, 25-15. Jags need a bucket desperately. Stackhouse with a look. That shot was blocked. Come on, don't let him in. Nice defense by Lasorza and Stackhouse force a suitcase. Right now, the Jags just need to find some offense anywhere. We've sent out troops out into the great outdoors looking under rocks, seeing if they could find a bucket anywhere. 
No stores in. Check that. Danielle in the wall. Steal by Jacksheimer. Jacksheimer. She has a clear lane to the basket. Ball is deflected out of bounds. By the Patriots. 9.56 to go. Stackhouse has it. Over to Danielle. Danielle from the elbow. Just a little bit short. She gets down on the floor. Bounces it in Stackhouse. Ball's pushed out of bounds. I think by number 12. No. Went off of the Jags. Looked like it was last pushed by number 12, but I obviously saw something different than the man with the Right shirt, right in front of you. Catchingly known as the Zebras. Nice job, defense Danny. by Danielle. And the Jags have it. Way to fight for it, Danny. Remember that jump ball a few minutes ago and I said they'll create a possession later on for the Jags? Well, there it was. Stackhouse has it. She has a look. She's a little bit long and strong. Danielle's shot was partially blocked, and the Patriots have it back with a 10-point lead. Pass to number four, the defense is on her. Number 24 picks it back out, there's an open look for number four. Side rim, no good, Danielle grabs it. Loose ball on the floor, deflected out of bounds by number 10, Jags have it. From the floor, they tried to get the ball in the outlet pass, and the ball was Pathway was cut off, I should say, by the Patriots player who kicked it out of bounds. Jags, if they can get a couple buckets, still have a good opportunity to get Claw back into this game with 8.21 on the clock. Plenty of time left. Jacksheimer has a look. Can she? Will she? She gets the roll! And the Jaguars are off the schneid. They trail by 8. 8.10 to go. Ah, but an answer on the other end by the sweet... Silky stroke of number 17. Who's up near double digits for the Jaguars. Check that for the Patriots. She gets a steal. This might be a good time for a good foul. And the bucket and the Jags trail by an even dozen. 29-17. In the Jacksheimer, turn around, jumper is good. As Jacksheimer's feeling it now, deficit back to 10. Still seven and a half minutes to go. Patriots have it. There's a long three. Get it, get it. Good job, Kate. Jaguars will take that shot eight days a week. To quote the Beatles, there's a foul on the Patriots. Bags will inbound baseline. The clock Come runs on, with under count, seven Come minutes on. to go. Ten point deficit. Stores are over to Kate. Kate has it. Gets it in the Walsh. Walsh out to Danielle. Danielle's high arcing shot. Oh, she can't get the roll. Walsh gets that away for the Jags, and Lasorza comes up with a nice move by Lasorza. In the Walsh, Walsh has the look. She goes there. Oh, underneath the basket, can't get it to go. Good try, Fiona. Kate does a good job. Coach Coleman wants Kate to stay out on number 17, who has a large yeah, rebound, majority rebound. of the Patriots' points this evening. Walsh tries to be unselfish, maybe a little too unselfish on that play, but a miss on the other end. No harm, no foul. Kate has it. Waits for the swords that establish her feet in the front court. She gets over to Walsh. Walsh is short. Danielle comes up with it and bangs it in. Cuts the deficit for the Jags. They trail 29 to 21. As the fans get a little excited, there's a long three-pointer, no good, and we have a foul on the Patriots. 
The good thing about the foul, it, I thought it might stop the clock, but apparently not. Eight point deficit. If the Jags can get another bucket or two, they can make the Patriots sweat. The Patriots may be undefeated, but one wonders, have they been tested at all? How will they react if a game gets a little tight around the collar down the stretch? Can the Jags put them in such a position? Right now, the Jags will settle for quick shots like that every single time down the court because a miss equals another opportunity for the Jags to cut into this deficit. 4.40 to go, they trail by eight. Kate's pass is picked off. Come on girls, defense now, get that ball back. Good hustle back on defense by the Jaguars as Walsh and Kate were there. Another quick shot and another opportunity. Oh, but the opportunity goes by the wayside for the Jags. They need to settle it down. There's another opportunity. As Coach Coleman calls a timeout with 4.12 to go. The Patriots, by taking quick, quick shots, are giving the Jags opportunities. The Jags need to capitalize and capitalize now. And I'm sure that's what Coach Coleman's talking about with the girls on the bench as we go to a timeout here on the Jags Television Network. Jags have it. Walsh has it. Oh, that's a backcourt violation. The rule is, while she caught it, she did catch it and land it in the front court. But you have to establish your feet in the front court before. There's a steal by the Jags. Bounce pass in the Walsh. Walsh converts! And the Jags with 343, cut it to 29 to 23. Don't let him in, don't let him in. Number 17 wants to take matters into her own hands, but instead, the Jags get, oh, stolen back by the Patriots. Danielle got a hand on it, shot is missed. Fiona Walsh, she got held, and there's no call as I make my case emphatically. Walsh, Walsh was held going for the loose ball. The referee missed it, and it turned into an easy layup for the Patriots. Over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse gets her shot deflected out of bounds. No. What a shame. What a shame. Ball goes out of bounds, and the Jags will have it back. They trail by a score of 31 to 23 with 2.50 to go. Timeout on the floor. As Coach Coleman goes over the strategy, we'll zoom on in with 2.40 to go. Can't do anything about it. Jags trail by eight. They had cut it to six. I mean, there was a loose down. ball. Fiona Walsh had a beat on it. As she went to get it, she was grabbed from behind by the Patriots player. Number the, the pull or the grab was missed by the official. The, Loose ball was subsequently gained by the Patriots who dished it inside for an easy layup. And a six point lead was extended out to an eight point lead. Had Walsh been able to come up with that loose ball, they could have potentially cut it down to four or three. So it could be a critical turn of events for the Jags. Make it happen. Walsh has it. Two defenders back. So she swings it over to Jack Simon. Back to Walsh. Walsh takes it to the basket. Nice move. Can't get it to go with 2.28 to go. Come on, Jack. Jags trail by eight. Nice. Scores it with a steal. Oh! But the ball goes out of bounds off of the Jags. Come on, keep the pressure on, girls. Keep the pressure on. You got to love what you see with the Jags, though. When they, oh, that could be the nail in the coffin, however. They were down by 11 or 12 and they fought back to, to six. But the mountain might have just been a little too high to climb, especially with that missed call down low. The shot is missed by the Jags. There's a push, 151 to go. The Jags trail by 10. I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, the Jaguars gave the Patriots all they could handle on a Friday night.
Walsh just a little bit off on that as the Jags are in the one and one with under two minutes to go. Stay on her, Steph. Stay on her. Good job, Steph. Jack Simon goes on the floor. Good job, Steph. Lasorza in the Walsh. Walsh to the rim and oh, no love from the basketball gods on that. Nice job by Kate running down that ball defensively. And even though the ball went off of a Jaguar player out of bounds, you've got to love the hustle by Kate on that play. you got to love the hustle by all the Jaguars. If they could just turn the ball over a little bit less and put a few balls in the bucket, this could be a completely different game. Lasorzo to the right hand and in! The bucket is good. Cuts the deficit to eight. 33 to 25, one to come. But only 117 remain on the clock. Feels no pressure. She sets. She bends her knees. She launches. And she banks it in. As I said, she feels no pressure. Ice water in her veins. Thirty-three to twenty-six, seven-point deficit for the Jags. Ball's loose on the floor. Possession arrow, jump ball. Patriots have it. One oh one to go. Come on, defense, girl. Can they come up with a steal and a bucket down the other end? We shall see. There's a steal by Lasorza on the inbound. Lasorza in the one and one. He's got a loose ball, a jump ball. Jags have it. Right now, the Jags are in the bonus. The Jags would be well advised to just take it to the hole every time and try to get to the free throw line. With less than a minute left, the clock will stop on free throws. There's a look by Walsh. It's gonna be, gonna be a little short. Nice hustle by Jacksheimer to try to save it. 53 seconds to go. Stolen by Danielle. Take it to the hole from just inside the three-point line. No good, rebound by the Patriots. Patriots, they don't need to shoot, but they do. That's a blocking foul, but not a bad idea by Kate with 36.6 to go. It stops the clock. Coach Coleman with a timeout. When we come back from the timeout, the Patriots will be at the line. With a seven point lead and 36.6 to go on the clock. We take a timeout here on the Jaguars Television Network. Critical free throws here for the Patriots as they want to put this game away and go home. And the first one gets them one step closer to that. Thirty-four twenty-six. Second free throw. Nothing but net. That could be the icing on a cake. A nine point lead with 35 seconds to go. Kate has it. She gets it over to Walsh. Walsh cross court to Stackhouse. Stackhouse from long range off the side of the rim. 20 seconds to go. Jack Simon with a quick foul. Jags came in versus an undefeated team on a Friday night in Forks Township, New Jersey. Gave them all they can handle. With only six players. Mike, you have two fouls to give, make sure you go for the ball. Wiser words were never spoken. An elbow, an inadvertent elbow, was it? Or was it an intentional elbow by number 12? No, I not Stackhouse needs to foul, and she does with 13 seconds. Good foul, Addy. That's it. Good job. You get the ball. Hi, guys. Tonight, tonight. That timer with a quick foul. This time, no elbow by number 12. Eleven point five on the clock. Jags trail, thirty-five to twenty-six. Patriots at the line. 
for two shots. This one is good as they've hit their free throws down the stretch to ice the game. They lead by 10. Second one, no good. Walsh has it. 10 seconds to go. Walsh over to Danielle. Danielle, three seconds left. Two, one, and that'll do it. The Jaguars will go down to defeat to the undefeated Patriots by a score of 36 to 26. That one call could have changed the game if it was made. As the players shake hands, for a job well done on a Friday night. Go home, ice that tea, ice cream for game. all. Coach went down, Coleman will go and over it. And it was a, the it was game a with the, the players and, and let them know what they did well even, and what they can improve on for the next game. Been a fair. And we bring it on over here to the Stat Monster. We say good night to all out there in television land, YouTube television land, that is. This is the Stat Monster signing out on a Friday night here in Pennsylvania. Nice, muggy, rainy Pennsylvania, just outside of Easton. We all have a good night now, you hear? Yeah.